The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, UG in the building, my guy. Yeah, brother, brother. So we're talking about the color green. Yes, brother. What about the color green? Let's talk about so it. So the color green, ladies and gentlemen, my name is UG <laughs> Fisher, and um, I'm very happy to be here, by the way. Brother Abe, thank you for having me. Of course. The color green, um, apparently, and not just apparently, I researched it, um, represents envy, actually. Envy, jealousy. Right. Now, um, my new single called Conconsa. Mm. Uh, we touch upon, you know, gossipers, backbiters, yep. haters, as the people call them. Yep. Um, yeah, so I feel like the colour green kind of represents, you know, envy and all of that. I'm not an envious person, but it's part of the new single. So, yeah, and it happens to be, you know, on par with my team. On the radar green. Yeah, you know what I mean? On the radar I like green. that, on the radar green. On I the like radar that, green, yeah. that's what I call it. I like that. So. But, but green is also obviously money. Right? Yeah, of we course, all know that. of but course. But then also when I, was, uh, when I was in middle school, I was in like a home economics class and they were yeah. teaching us about cigarettes yeah. <laughs> and they're like if you ever notice cigarette ads yeah. cigarette ads are blue red and green and that's because those are the most recognizable colors Color. to the human eye yeah of course so if you so like if you ever pass by even in new york if you ever pass by a corner store and you look at like the ads that are outside the corner store the green it's green blue you. or red yeah 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 that's too quiet well, like Mar Mar marlboro is green oh that's red which one's green yeah marlboro is red huh newport's green thank you newport. yeah newport's green yeah newport i don't think i've ever seen newport before was that an american brand yeah, it's definitely American, be, okay. man. So where are you from originally? Uh, originally, originally from Ghana. Okay. I was born in Ghana, hmm. uh, Accra, Kolebu Hospital to be precise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's put that out there, you know what I mean? And then, um, yeah, we moved to London. Well, my mom and dad moved to London before I did, and then they brought me over when I was about six, seven years old. Hmm. And then, yeah, I've been in London. People call it in it land, whatever they want to call it. But yeah, I've been in London since I was six years old. Right. Um, and yeah, I think I've had the best of both worlds, you know. Cause my mom and dad are really gone in. Mm -hmm. If you walk into my house, that London stuff stops. You know what I mean? <laughs> the London, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Once you walk in that house, bro, you go smell the stew. You know what I mean? Everything like that. Yeah, God. You know what I mean? But I had a lot of love around me, man. That's fine. I, it's it's interesting because we've been. Um, I feel like with the conversation with like a lot of artists who I've had coming over here from Africa, yeah. and we talk about like Afro beats and just the sound and in general, and it's like they're. The thing is, it's like kind of like how, you know, obviously sound travels in different places to adopt the sound, but like how London and the UK is also yeah. real, be de really developing yeah. that type of sound too, especially yeah. with yeah. artists, uh, the other artists like Darko, Darko, yeah, yeah. not Darko Vibes, Darko, yeah, Darko, yeah. Darko is yeah, from, wavy, yeah. uh, is wavy, from yeah. uh, the UK, but she yeah. was born in Africa yes. originally as well yes. too. Yeah, uh, London, I think, do you know why? I think it's because, obviously, as I said, our parents kind of moved over to London at a time when things were kind of, I wouldn't say it was, was switching over, but they were the cultures were kind of meshing a bit more. So right. even when, I remember when I was a kid, it wasn't really something that you would brag about that you was African. Mm. You know what I mean? People used to hide that. People would say they was Jamaican and that. <laughs> yeah. Jamaican is crazy. The man never used to say they were Jamaican. I look at them like, bro, so your name's Kwabna, no? Like, what are you talking like? But I used to be like, you know what, if that's how you want to play it. But, you know, and then obviously somehow, I don't know, somehow, by God's grace, everything's just kind of switched. Everyone's just being happy being themselves now. Right. Um, and I think music has played a big part of that, really. Mm. Um, and we've got to big up, I think, our Caribbean counterparts, firstly, because yeah. they kind of... They've been fighting this war for a long time, especially with the music, bro. Right, I was gonna say like five, six years ago, it was all <laughs> yeah. like dance hall so, that so everybody was they, on. They started this, like they really yeah. helped push this. Obviously, I'm talking. We're gonna go back, back. You know, Afrobeats is there, whatever. But for the current crop and like the, the new generation, um, you can even hear in some of our Afrobeats music, we do kind of blend in with a bit of the dance hall. Too, Stoneboy so. does that a lot yeah, with, his, so. with his uh, with his sound too. I think it's a team effort, man. It's a lot of people's work that's gone into it for for yeah. someone like me to be able to sit here today. You know? Yeah. I think um, it's interesting you say, like, it's it's cool to be yourself now. Yeah. Like, I think, you know, even when we have artists who are have moved over here from Africa, yeah. they it's like the same thing. It's like when yeah. growing up, it's like you're kind of afraid to show the side of you because of either the way you dress and acclimate yeah. to, like, American culture yeah. or, like, the way you speak. Yeah. Or even, you know, even, like, if, if I related to, like, my culture with being Puerto Rican yeah. and, like, how, like, bad, but, like, it's, you know, people like Daddy Yankee and Bad Bunny made it cool to be Baby, yeah. Puerto yeah, Rican. Yeah, so yeah. I, I understand, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and I think, yeah. but I think it's dope how it's at that place now, too, yeah. because, you know, whether it's the UK or or here in America, it's like the impact that Afrobeats music has had and made it cool yep. and like has allowed the people who may have felt in these places feel like 
have felt like, I don't know, afraid to be themselves yeah, for this long time. Did, I think they didn't have people to identify with. Yeah. That's what it is. So now it's like, yo, like be yourself. You know what I mean? Be like, we are cool as well. Like, we are cool. Like, we actually are really cool people. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so it's nice for people like, from for me anyway, to be able to stand here, as I'm so be able to sit here with you and thinking about where I was, how things were. I never thought to myself I'd even be in America, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Lie to you, bro. I never thought this day was gonna come, but here I am. So right. So with this new single, right? Yeah. Like, is is like the is the theme green from from now on for this yeah, rollout for, for this rollout, project yeah, for the or next what we five got? weeks? For the next five weeks, yeah. and then we put in the green away. Yeah, then we put the green away. Then yeah. what do we color we switch to? We tell them more. Okay. Orange, orange, bro. Oh, I like that. So you're doing like a colors theory type <laughs> yeah, thing right for now. Every okay. single. So the single before was naughty. Mm. And we had purple for that one. Right, I peeped that. Yeah, yeah. so now we, we were the green. Mm. So is it like, is the the project that this leads into, is it like, are you calling it like colors? Do you or? know what's crazy, bro? This is These songs are not even going on a project. They're just more to wake everybody up again. Mm. More to like prove to everybody that I'm ready to be consistent. Um, so we're going to do like four singles, just dance songs, feel good songs. And then in May, I'm actually going to drop an EP, a project that's nothing to do with any of these songs. But it's like another side of UG. And I feel like there's more to show. And I feel like what I used to do before was kind of hold back on myself because, you know, people would tell you, oh, you need to find find a lane, find a box that, you know, people can know you by. And I'm there like, guys, I can't force myself to not be, <laughs> to not be like who I am, like to right. not do it. Because if you put me in the studio, it can literally go any way. And I don't think I should be restricted. I don't think, I, I think I've got to stop restricting myself. And I think that that's what was probably stopping me from releasing a lot more cons consistently. So now I'm just like, you know what? We're making the music, so let's just get it out. And that's the way I express myself. Right. So I fuck with that. With this project, so what are you calling the project? Sweet Boy Savage. Sweet Boy Savage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a different side than the music yeah, we're in right now. Yeah. Now, what is that pro is it are you doing different sounds? Or are you sticking with Yeah, like, so that you... obviously that one's more aimed at the ladies. Right. Um Sweet Boy Savage. So it's you know, you're gonna hear me singing a lot more on it. There's a lot more singing UG on that. Mm. Um and more talking about, you know, love and the nicer side of life. Right. When it came to like connecting back with artists from Ghana too, yeah. because like you know, I look at, at like some of like the the artists that follow you, whether it be like you know, um, or just in Africa in general, yeah. like with like Oxlade and yeah. I, who was the other one I wrote down? I wrote down Oxlade, Kawabanga, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Shout out, you know, yeah. shout um, out the Asaga the Boys. Um, yeah. How do you make those connections? Because obviously, you know, you're always gonna have a connection to home. Yeah. But are you like consistently going back to Ghana, yeah, or is yeah. it all through like y'all are meeting online through the music? So obviously, firstly, online is a great. Uh, the internet is a great place because it's free, firstly. Mm -hmm. um, you can really make things happen. Um, so, yeah, online, I find out about them online. And then, obviously, when I go to Ghana, I'm on, I communicate with them. So, by the time I get there, it's like, yo, what are you guys up to? What are you, you doing? Let's link up. And I try to support and try to show love as much as I can because mm -hmm. I think it's the, the way that we grow this thing, you know what I mean? So Right. Yeah, brody. So, you haven't had, like, an issue with ever, like, connecting back with people? Else? Never. Like, the, the Ghanaians especially, we're very friendly and loving, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, we cannot wait to make friends, bro. So, I don't know. The guys are amazing anyway. As you said, Carabanga, Oxlade, uh, we've talked about Jay Bad and mm -hmm. the Asaka boys. Um, they've always shown me love, and it's always been love. So. Right. Y'all look like y'all have a lot of fun in Ghana. Too much fun, bro. I'm watching that story, I like Christmas. <laughs> too much fun, too <laughs> he, much fun, he's bro. Like, he's, like, he's like, I'm going to get you out there. Yeah, I'm I was going to say, bro, make it happen, bro. I know, I'm going to be the only you part might not leave. You might not leave, bro. That's why everybody keeps saying Yeah, you me. might actually not leave. <laughs> You might not leave, bro. <laughs> nah, cause it was like I think it was your story. You were up at like six a.m. at the party. Yeah, I was like, I was like, damn, man. Bro, well, it could go all day, bro. And then you go sleep, probably like eight a.m. And then by one a.m. there's day party starting or something that's going on. And you gotta be out that door again, bro. That's crazy. And the thing is, you will keep up. You think it sounds crazy now, but once you're in that in that zone and in that mix, right? You'll be like, yo, what's okay? So okay, I'm gonna go sleep three hours and I wake. Yo, you'll be ready for it, bro. That's how it is. The vibe is just a one. That's nuts. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. I want to go. A1, bro. So with you and music too, because I didn't get yeah. the, like, the, the background. When did you first start making music? Um, so I would say probably when I was about 13, 14. Okay. Um, uh, I started loving music when I was about 10 years old, 9 years old. My big cousins like we used to listen to like Biggie Smalls and stuff. Mm. That's when I first ever discovered like hip-hop. My mom and dad are pastors. So I grew up on gospel. Oh, that's nice. Gospel, <laughs> gospel music. Like, I'm a church boy. Like That's right. how I started life. So... Um, and you know, I discovered hip hop from my big cousin. And when I heard Biggie Smalls and stuff, I was like, "What am I? Like, what is this? What is this sound? Like, mm. not Ron Canoli. You know, Ron Canoli's one of the gospel guys, the old school gospel guys. It was right. very different for me to hear this. So, 
I just started investigating it more and then my love for it just grew. And there was some kids in my school that used to rap, the older kids. I used to tag along with them. And then I booked my first ever studio session when I was like 14 years old, mm -hmm. using like my lunch money. Saved up a little bit. And I went in there for one hour, bro. And the song I made, I thought was life changing. But it wasn't obviously, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't the record. It wasn't the record at all. But that was the first time that I said to myself, yo, like I, I really want to do this. And I was about 14, 15 years old, bro. Wow. And I've just and been going at it since. So what, what what do you hope to accomplish by the end of this year? Like, what is, like, in, in the future? Um, just to set some consistency. Um, as it stands right now, we are on single number two of the year. Yep. By the end of the year, I want to have at least, like, 15 songs out. And that's basically because I'm going to drop two projects. The Sweet Boy Savage 1 and Sweet Boy Savage 2. Mm. Both going to drop this year. First quarter and then last quarter. For the ladies. For the ladies. Because the ladies are the key to everything. Brother. Brother for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> He's a brother for the ladies. <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you look for in a lady? Um, old UG would have went straight for the looks, body and looks, but now it's like you, can't, you kind of have to... The looks you said you used to go just straight for the looks. Straight, look. I don't care. I'm chaotic, bro. I run in head chaotic, first. Chaotic, like... Head first. I don't care what troll, like, what's going on there. We go, we, go, we go sort it out once I'm in there. But now we're just a little bit more cautious, you know, a bit more... You know, just someone who's responsible. Mm -hmm. Um aware of themselves that could communicate really well mm -hmm. those things you know they give you peace of mind right so that's what i go for and then the and looks, the looks. <laughs> <laughs> you get me uh you uh we the same type of chaotic <laughs> try to put that one last yeah, you know, just quietly at the end you know to, like drizzle it in there it's just like oh yeah i'm chaotic you but i'm not I mean? that chaotic i wasn't gonna say if you didn't say bro but i'm joking i, I, was, know, I knew I was, he was gonna say that. it yeah too that's why i was like eh, and okay, the and looks, you got me. yeah okay say the name of the project one more time sweet boy savage sweet boy savage that's one right. and two coming this year that's right um we're gonna perform the new single here today yes Dope. Normally we change the colors for yeah. the performances, but I think we got to leave it green no today problem. because you I love it. I love it, green. man. Yeah, it goes with it. On uh, the radar green. On the radar green. That's right. Um, what else you got coming out? So we got the two projects. Yeah. Uh, any shows, tour? Um, what else so we got? got a tour. Yes, a European tour. My first proper like European tour happening in October time, September October time. We have got like ten dates around Europe. Okay. And we're gonna tour with the Sweet Boy Savage project. Tough, tough. Yeah, just all the ladies around Europe. We just come to just vibe, show love, spread love, show love. You know what I mean? Um, and then, yeah, hopefully I'll be back in America as well to do a small little tour, my first ever American tour. Oh, sure. Nothing big, you know, just first steps out here, sow some seeds, mm. and then we're going to come back next year, next year 10 times harder. Many upcoming collabs with all you. There's some magic. There's some magic coming. Yeah, in the pipeline. Bro. Fire. Yeah, some good magic. Bro. Well, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, man. Well, by you the time y'all see this, uh, yeah. the new, uh, the performance is out now. You yep. know what I'm saying? Project's on the way. Yes. Um... Before we get out of here, we have you perform. Uh, anything else you want to let the people know, where they can follow you out, all that good stuff. Now is the time to do it. This camera right here. Big up yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for viewing my family, you know, on the radar. Big up themselves. They show me love, so please show them love for me too. Um, UG Official, follow me on all the socials. Instagram, Twitter. They've even got me on TikTok, guys. I'm on <laughs> TikTok. I'm trying. So follow me on there. Search it up. Hit me up. Show some love. Um, and spread love, guys. That's all I can ever say to everybody. Just spread love. You feel me? There you go. Yeah. Well, make sure you go follow him. Uh, go check out the new single out now. Go check out the performance out yeah. now. Uh, go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love yeah. is free. Support yeah. is free. But I love that. Ready. Love is free, time. man. Yuji on the radar. We out. My guy. Bow. Bow. This guy like a robot. Yeah. Yo. Wow. He don't sleep. <laughs> he don't sleep. <laughs> that's why your DMs popping like that, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, why, that's why they pay me. That's why they want to take you for drinks and talk about work, bro. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't see it.